Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our entire farm design, how I use this particular software called SketchUp to be able to design the farm from scratch and presented it to our contractors that actually went ahead and implemented the entire project. So I use this particular software called SketchUp. It's absolutely free. If you are interested in me creating a separate video that shows you how to use the software to design your own farm, just let me know in comments below and I'll go ahead and create a separate video and it will, that will walk you through from downloading of the software and uh, installation as well as where to get the software, how to use the software to add, design your own farm. So if you're interested in, in, in that, let me know in comments below. Our farm is located in Boya, southwest region of Cameroon, but the knowledge you're going to get today can actually be transferred to other parts of Africa and even or even other parts of the world. So if you are new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button, consider sharing the video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell. Let me grab a cup of coffee. Why I grab a cup of coffee, please? Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Be right back. So far, as you can see, once you're coming in, this is the entrance into our farm. Um, coming this way, you have a little parking over here for cars that are coming to delivering stuff. Um, cars that are com coming to drop things or pick up stuff, pick up the chicken or pick up the eggs. or So this is going to be a little parking over here. And as you can see, we already built this particular warehouse. The warehouse is already up, it's been completed. We have this little maze creep right here. Um, which was an old structure that was already there and you know, we had to pay for it just to take advantage of what we already have on the property and so we already have this particular maze script we're going to be i'm going to figure out how we can actually fully utilize this particular property right here next to the warehouse you have the uh, little office so we're going to have this particular little office right here the office is going to be used for documentation documenting all the uh, activities in the farm lane activity if a particular chicken is sick uh, we try to isolate the isolate it and document all that information we want to be able to document everything as much as possible right next to it you will see a little generator uh, house the reason why I'm putting it very far away, the reason why the generator house right there is extremely far away because you don't want too much noise disturbing the birds because these birds are very sensitive. Noise noise actually affect the amount of eggs that the birds can actually lay. So you don't want that noise to go actually affect them. From time to time, you have power in and out. So we're gonna have a little generator house right there and then we're gonna have the uh, we're going to have the office, a little office right here. And coming down after that is going to be the, far, the uh, farm employees, farm employees house, right? So we're going to have a, a little slaughter house right here where you we're going to be able to, like, chickens that, let's say, for example, all the broilers that we have that has not been released uh, into the market that, that people were not able to buy, that were not able to sell in time. This is where we'll do the slaughtering. We'll slaughter everything, put them in deep freezers. We're probably going to have those deep freezers in our warehouse right here, uh, set them up in deep freezers. And then uh, when people place the command in the store, we can now transport them to the store for whoever is, um, whoever is interested in picking them up. No customers will be allowed inside. I mean, Sometimes we can allow some customers that are like uh, purchasing an extremely large quantity, bring them in, but they will never cross this particular uh, area to get into the chicken area. All they will end up is right here in the office and the warehouse, pretty much, that's it. So we're going to have the deep freezer in yet. So we'll do the slaughtering here, take it here. And then we're going to have, um, right this way, you're going to have a shower for sanitization people coming into this particular area. If somebody wants to visit, that's fine, but they have to take it and they have full bath shower because we don't want anybody bringing diseases from outside and bringing it into the uh, chicken houses. So uh, you don't want, uh, an entire chicken farm of 50,000 birds can actually be damaged with somebody just coming in. So we have biosecurity is gonna be extremely important. So this is gonna be the biosecurity room. Which is gonna have a shower, 
Um, it's going to have all the uh, protective material that somebody, when you come this way, you have to put on, put them on before you get into the farm. Coming down after the biosecurity slaughter and the, and the farm area, coming down you have the broader the the broading room. This is where they old chicks first come in. So we bring them in here. We bro uh, the brooding is done in here until when they are ready before we transport them into the chicken houses. So this is pretty much the brooding room. And right next to it, um, coming down, I mean, not mostly next because they have to be a little separated. They have to be separated, obviously, is the hospitality room. This is where all the sick chicken will be brought in. We'll have to isolate the sick chicken, and bring them into the hospitality room right here until they are completely healed before we bring them to, back into the stock. We do not want to go ahead and bring uh, and mix the, the sick ones with, with the, with the uh, healthy ones because if you go ahead and do that, again, of course, you will go ahead and damage your entire stock. And we're going to have three different chicken houses, uh, one, two, three. Each is going to be at least 12 feet, uh, 12, uh, sorry, 12 meters by uh, 20 meters. So it's going to be at least 12 meters by 20 meters, three of them. Um, we should, uh, each of them should be able to take a capacity of uh, about 6,000 birds. So each of these will have about 6,000 birds per, per, per unit. And of course, we're going to be using the battery cages because with the property, the small, um, if we had hectares, we'll be, we can actually just uh, let them free range or even um, just let them uh, run around inside. But again, we're trying to maximize the property as much as possible. So we're going to be using battery cages. And last part is pretty much the gate. You see this gate right here that separates this area from this. This gate, um, only the farm manager has the keys to this gate. Not even an employee. Only the farm managers um, have the farm managers, on, and of course the chief of operating officers and like high ups, they will have access to this gate to actually go through this way. Any other person has to go through the biosecurity room, and of course the the farm manager. I mean, we actually have to go as well through the biosecurity room because you want to protect yourself. But the reason why we have this gate over here is if we are actually exporting some things, bringing things in or taking things out that we don't need to go through the crowd, but actually uh, just taking things out. Nothing goes in without going to the biosecurity room. So bringing things out, some heavy things out, that's why we have this gate. This is like, um, the, this gate has to be used for only on special occasion. So that's pretty much it for this particular farm. Uh, this is going to be the first of many farms that we're going to own. Uh, we have a couple of properties all over uh, that I plan on using for multiple farms. So uh, I want us to go ahead and use this as a model of, the, of our subsequent farms coming up. All right. Thank you. All. So there you have it. That is how we were able to design our uh, boilers farm. I know in the video it said uh, layers farm, but we later on converted this space, this particular space, into a, a broiler's farm. So the layer farm is next to this one, and it's a uh, it's 1,000 meter square property that um, each, we, we have two layer houses that will hold a total of 20,000 uh, birds, and the, obviously barricade. Each particular house is 13 meters by 50 meters long. And that project, it's uh, actually scheduled to start sometimes later this year. Um, again, we're going to be sharing all the knowledge as far as everything, including finances, financials, like how much it costs us to actually construct the layer house, uh, how much it con uh, con costs us to construct the boiler farm, how much it costs, costs us to construct the hatchery. We're going to be sharing all that. So if you don't want to miss any of those videos, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button and share the videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. Thank you and see you in the next video.